Hello, welcome to Top Whistle, the Irish Whistle Review Show. On this episode, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Because in all the episodes that I've done previously, I've worked with the high D soprano whistles. And I thought to myself, well, I fancied a new challenge. Which is why I decided, believe it or not, to look into doing the lower D tenor whistle range. And while I was doing my research, looking up various whistles on the internet, much to my surprise, a lot of the low D whistles were quite outlandishly expensive, ranging from 90 to a hundred, to even a few hundred pounds to dollars. And much to my surprise, after much digging, trying to think, is there a cheap low D whistle that is cost effective, even for an amateur like myself, trying to think, well, what will be my best first low D whistle to practice on and learn with? And much to my surprise, after many hours of digging, I managed to find that whistle. And believe it or not, it comes in the form of the Becker whistle. Because Mr. Becker makes this whistle in low D, and it uses the same plastic acetal rods which he uses in the smaller one which I previously reviewed in a previous episode. So this whistle alone will set you back around 25 American dollars and yes by all means as usual there will be a link in the description box below for you to browse and visit the website should you wish to purchase the whistle. And with all that I've mentioned, is this budget whistle any good? We're about to find out. After weighing the good and the bad points, I've decided to score this whistle respectable, hmm, an 8 out of 10. It's a whistle that's definitely what I classify as aimed for beginners who are looking for their first low D whistle to get a practice on, get a feel of the instrument and get a grip of. If there's one thing that most users I think will struggle with initially is to, to learn and master what's called the piper's grip, but once you've got the mastery of the piper's grip, which is a much different handling grip to what you normally do with a soprano whistle. The rest falls into place pretty fine, so there was no problems on that front. It's definitely also something I could even potentially recommend, believe it or not, as a practice whistle, because let's face it, you can drop it, it's not going to get broken, and so it's pretty much a good whistle to take around with you if you wish to go overseas or anywhere with it. And it's mainly an instrument that I would classify as a practice whistle. Because of the volume being mid-range, it's not something I would classify as a professional level instrument. This is more something to practice on and to learn and develop an appreciation of the instrument and what is required of it. So once you've mastered this particular whistle and you wish to upgrade to more advanced versions of the low D whistles, then by all means, I highly recommend it. So. If you're a beginner, this is the whistle to get and it doesn't even break the bank. I could not recommend this highly, so for me, an 8 out of 10 is a respectable score. And on that note, I do hope you've enjoyed the show. By all means, if you wish to follow more episodes like this, then do hit the subscribe button. You can also follow me on social media like Facebook and Twitter. And also, I'm a pianist for hire, and if you wish to hire me for your services, then go to my website, www.davidcartmelpianist.com. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.